Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be covering some amazing industrial marvels and seeing how they work. If you want to see how they use helicopters to build towers in the mountains, make sure to keep watching. First up, we have the PM-1000 URM from Placer and Thur. This machine was designed to carry out a range of track maintenance tasks. It can remove hazardous materials from the ballast bed, install new track sleepers, and properly distribute new ballast along the railway to guarantee optimum drainage and support. The machine is equipped with hydraulic jacks that can raise the track for safe track stabilization. Its sophisticated, built-in computerized control systems ensure accurate and effective operations. It's also equipped with a modern cab that offers the operator a safe and pleasant working environment as well as a good view of the track and its surroundings. Next, we have the XCMG XCC2000. A Chinese company, XCMG Group, built this heavy-duty telescopic crane. It has a maximum boom length of 81.4 meters and a maximum lifting capacity of 200 tons. The crane is adaptable to a wide range of applications, such as the building of infrastructure, the completion of industrial projects, and the execution of operations related to the energy industry. The XCC2000 has recently completed its first project in Europe, which included the construction of 27 wind turbines, each of which had blades measuring a whopping 136 meters in length. Up next, we have the Goldhofer FTV 300. It's a sort of heavy-duty transporter designed to move big and heavy objects. It's been instrumental in the development of an 18-meter wind farm near Hoshper Schilling. The construction location was monotonous and 1,500 meters above sea level. It was arduous to transport 27 50 meter long rotor blades along a 16 kilometer mountain road with tight turns and obstacles. The experienced crew navigated tight turns and 17% grades with an FTV300, which is a rotor blade adapter comprising an eight axle self-propelled module. 
By turning the blades or tilting them up to 60 degrees, the team overcame roadside trees, overhead power wires, and narrow roadways lined with buildings. Now you're looking at a spare part that belongs to the world's largest machine. It is a, the swing arm of a bucket wheel excavator that had to be transported to an open cast ignit mine in Upper Lusatia. Its delivery was entrusted to Universal Transport, a European transport company headquartered in Germany. The replacement item weighed 320 tons and had to be hauled four kilometers. It was transported on a self-propelled vehicle. When the cargo arrived at its location, it was hoisted and set on wooden beams by a crane. On the largest glacier in France, a new educational facility is under construction for research on climate change. This location will be accessible through a cable car network. The development of this cable car network needed a tower crane that could be carried in sections by helicopter. The contractors chose the Lieber 150 ECB. It's an eight-section tower crane with an 80-ton maximum lifting capacity and a 67-meter maximum hook height. 
a powerful heavy lift helicopter from Hilar International carried the crane. This mission included four assembly engineers from FT Montage and six flight aides from Hella Swiss International. They transported each part of the crane from overhead, joined them, and worked their way up to a tower height of over 40 meters. Next, we have the Multitasker from Technic Hero. This multi-purpose crane is available in a range of configurations for various applications. The rail version of this crane is designed to recover rolling stock effectively. Because of its clever construction and adaptable balancing mechanism, it can travel even while carrying substantial weight. The extendable boom of this crane can be stretched to different lengths to reach various heights and distances. The movable outriggers provide stability on uneven terrain, making the multitasker ideal for use in rugged terrain.
The APT 1500 RL is up next. Placer and Thur built this self-propelled welding equipment for railroad rails. All auxiliary units have been incorporated into the truck. The vehicle has road wheels as well as an adaptable rail undercarriage, allowing it to switch between road and rail at any time. The machine also has a sophisticated flash butt welding unit. The welding device passes current to preheat the ends of the two rails, allowing them to be joined together. The heat created by the passing current causes the rail ends to melt and fuse when the power is turned off. The rail pulling mechanism is also integrated into the welding unit. It does work with no human intervention. Last but certainly not least is the KTEG KMC 1600S. This demolition excavator has a maximum digging depth of 25.4 meters and a maximum working weight of 160 tons. The boom is 11.7 meters long and the arm length is 8.3 meters. The cab can tilt up to 30 degrees to provide a better view of the work area. The excavator has a semi-hydraulic boom change mechanism for simple attachment swapping. The HD undercarriage offers a steady working posture that enhances worker safety. For transport, the drive units can be detached, and the three lifting cylinders create a balanced lifting force that enables the operation of demolition fronts while maximizing attachment performance. Well, there you have it. We hope you guys enjoyed learning about these great machines. Don't worry, we've got plenty of more machines that you can learn about. Just click here. And with that, we'll see you next time.